Okay, so let's talk about the importance of getting your comics into comic book shops and why you should be getting them into comic book shops. Now, I'm gonna cut these videos into smaller chunks purely because it's, I've got a lot of information to share and I wanna make it more digestible, so don't be surprised when I do a Sopranos cut to black halfway through, okay? But in this video, we're gonna talk about the importance of why you need to get your comics into comic book shops. Now, sounds very self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised how many creators out there do not try and put their comics into comic book shops because you know what? I'm gonna do a Kickstarter or I'm gonna do an online store, that kind of thing. But comic book shops are the lifeblood of the industry. Now, I've said that on this channel before many times, and I still believe that without comic book shops, the industry as we know it would not exist, okay? So as a creator, it's very important for you to put your comic into comic book shops, okay? So if you've done what I've said and you've started small, you know, with a four-page comic, that kind of thing, and you've worked up to your first proper full-scale comic, you may have pitched that to publishers, okay? And more times than not, you're gonna get a rejection, okay? It's all part of the process of making comics, so, but then you're left with a comic and no one's reading it. That's not good for you, that's not good for your career. So as a creator, if you're looking to work into comics as a profession, it's your job to reach out to comic book shops to get them to buy your book. And the reason for this is, if you sow the seeds in comic shops now, they're more likely to stock your book when you've got a publisher behind you, when you've got an image or a vault or a dark horse, because if they don't know who you are as a creator and they don't know nothing about your book and it doesn't have that internet heat that we see every now and then over a certain book, there's a good chance that they are not gonna stock your book and it's gonna get canceled off the first couple of issues, okay? So what you put into now is gonna pay off in the long run, okay? But to get our comics into comic book shops, we kinda need to understand how comic book shops work. Now, in the past, if you was a comic shop, you would have to get your comics through a distributor. Now, up until a couple of years ago, there was one. There was one company that had a monopoly on the industry, and that was Diamond Distribution. Now, this has since changed, and I'm not even gonna get into this subject because it's very, very complex, and there's loads of other videos out there you can watch about it, but basically, if you was a publisher and you wanted to get your comic to a comic book shop, you would have to submit it to Diamond, and it would go into a massive phone book catalog called Previews, okay? And now, a comic shop would go through that and select the comics that they wanna order three to four months in advance based on what they think their, you know, their customers want and they would order them and then they would come in, okay? Now, as a solo creator, I don't have a publisher, okay? But you can still get your comics into previews. But, now I've had a meeting with a, a couple of people from Diamond before and they explained to me how it worked. Now, what I would have to do as a solo creator is yes, I could submit my comic to Diamond, it could go in the catalog, but they're not gonna promote it for me. I don't have a publisher promoting it for me. So that comic is gonna have a little image of you know the cover of the comic and a little bit of blurb about what the comic is about. And based on that, a comic shop may or may not order that comic. So as a creator, it would be up to me to contact those comic shops, convince them to stock that book, and hopefully get X amount of orders so that order goes through. So why would I wanna give that company X amount of percentage of my cover charge just to get my comic in that book when I can go straight to the source and speak to comic shops myself. Now, this is what you need to do as an independent creator. You need to contact comic book shops, which I'm gonna show you in next week's video. But when you're an independent creator, how we work with comic book shops is very, very different. Now, some shops are amazing and they will go, do you know what? Yes, I know who you are, Matt. I will take 10 of your comics and they will pay me outright for the cover price of that comic. But I always give comic shops that I work with a 20% cover charge so they can you know, make a little bit extra on top of those comics. But some comic shops do what's called sale or return. Now, if you don't know what sale or return is, is basically you will give the comic shop, say, 10 copies of your comic, and they don't pay you for those comics. What they will do is they will try and sell them on your behalf, and if they do, they will take a percentage of that sale price from you, and if they don't sell all those comics, they will give them back in three to six months time. So you need to call them and manage the stock of how you know well that book is doing in their store. But this is where it gets tricky. One, yes, you have to contact comic book shops, which we're gonna go through in the next video, but you need to remember, 
Not every comic book shop is going to stock independent comics. You will be surprised how many comic book shops do not stock comics unless it's by Marvel, DC, or even Image. So this is something we're gonna talk about in the next video. So I will see you then.